Hey everyone, it's Johnny5. I am back with a new video and some new videos coming up on e-bike projects. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about e-bike range and what does that actually mean? There's a lot of speculations out there that e-bike companies are saying that they're getting 50 miles or 80 miles or heck even 100 miles of range out of their battery pack and I wanna go over how I actually calculate range and show you a real way to figure out that number. So with that, let's get started. So the way that I calculate this is I start off with my battery size. So let's use for an example a thousand watt hour battery pack. So a thousand watt hour battery pack is what I'm gonna use for my example uh, today. Now, the way that you need to do this is you need to take your e-bike and you need to charge it all the way up, completely full, and then use an app like Strava or uh, uh, any of those basically uh, fitness apps and go for a ride and see how many miles that you went exactly. So basically, for an example, let's say that I took my e-bike fully charged and rode it for 12 miles. All right, so let's say that I went 12 miles and I used a total of 360 watts. Excuse me, watt hours. 360 watt hours. So from that, we're gonna do a little bit of math and figure out exactly what our watts per mile is. And that is the key to this, is what is our watts per mile? So basically, you take 360 watt hours used, divided by 12 miles and we get 30 watt hours per mile 30 watt hours per mile so now we can take this and figure out exactly how much range that our battery pack is gonna give us. Remember we started with a thousand watt hour battery pack. We take our thousand watt hour battery pack, so a thousand watt hour pack, that's how much we have in storage, divided by our 30 watt hours per mile, And we end up with 33.33, that'll continue forever, miles of range. That's how you figure it out. That's how you figure it out in the real world. And the thing is, is everybody's gonna be different. Obviously the speed that you're riding the size of the rider, um, wind factors, whether your tires are efficient or not, um, so on and so forth. There's all sorts of factors that will uh, determine your range. So basically, what you have to do is this uh, simple math problem, and from that you'll figure out exactly how much range you'll have. Okay, so one thing that I didn't mention yet is how did I get that number? How did I get the 360 watt hours used. So basically, like I said in the beginning, you need to take your battery pack and completely charge it all the way up. And go for your ride, come back, and you need to charge it all the way up again using, it's one of these, it's called a kilowatt meter. And basically what you do is you plug in your charger right here, plug this kilowatt meter into the wall, and you'll click that button right there and it'll move over to kilowatt hours used. 
So another thing to keep in mind is that all chargers are about 80, 85 to 90% efficient. So basically what happens is the way that I got that 360 watt hours is my actual usage on the kilowatt meter was 424 watt hours. And then I times it by 0.85 or 85%, which gives me roughly 360 watt hours. That's how you get that, and that's how you get that fairly accurate at that point. I hope that video was useful and helpful, and uh, hope to catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. See ya.